Hey guys, so welcome everyone to again to another showdown sweep. I'm Mr. Lucky Luke, and today's one we got ourselves a hound stone sweep. Now, before anyone asks, I am kind of very tired. Um, my family kind of had uh, my family slash uh, their cousins and everyone had a bit of a big party, so uh, I haven't really much slept that crazy. So <laughs> literally, uh, so um, I'm gonna try my best to get through this. Um, Get through this highlight before I'm getting too tired of it. So yeah, um, but yeah, let me quickly gra grab it or show you people how like how a houndstone is really like if it's good or not. I'm sorry, people. Again, if you really wish you had, if I, if you really wish I had some more positive, um, you know, positive, uh, like almost a positive uh, personality right now. Today's uh, um, today's. Uh, Today's uh, highlight. Well, unfortunately, that won't be able to. So yeah, but yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, let's explain uh, Houndstone. So first of all, it is um, it is a uh, ghost type Pokemon, and it is a very interesting one, being a, a pure ghost, and it has really, really has a, a very strange average stat, being a having 101 uh, for attack. 100 for uh, the physical defense, 97 for special defense, 72 for uh, HP, and then there goes the low one, which is 68, oof, no, 69, uh, speed, and 50 for special attack. So this thing is not really, um, <laughs> not really as, um, as powerful as you thought it would, but um, it gets some cool moves, and it gets a, one of the new signature moves that people are probably going to run as much as often, so they get a cool new broken move. This Houndstone gets a broken move called uh, Last Respects, and this Pokemon, what it, uh, what this move does, it um, it power increases by 50 uh, with each fainted uh, party member, and also uh, it also has 50 base power. So each time I f my party member faints, this thing, does, this attack does more damage. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using obviously the signature for, for signature move for it, and yeah, this is a uh, gonna be a one wild battle, and uh, also weird enough, I wasn't actually attempted to go for a Houndstone sweep. I actually was doing a little bit of theme team going on, as you can see from the screen. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. So I share it with you people. So we got a version against Willy Wins 39, and uh, like I said, I wasn't going for a sweep there. I was doing a little bit of battles and tried some of the sets. And uh, <laughs> here comes the better set, which is my. A mouse hold, the special one. As I said, I'm gonna one uh, day will tempt myself to do a special um, mouse hold sweep, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, this thing is gonna use body slam combination with quick attack, and it's gonna go for another one. Now I'm gonna go uh, for my physical uh, tailwind um, set, and it's gonna go for quick attack spam, and that goes down. So yeah, I'm gonna go for now but belly jump, and uh, this set will be some uh, set I will be uh, uh, my ex I'm not gonna be able to explain too many of these sets, but I'm gonna try some of them. Some of the points, so yeah. So this uh, Cyclozar is gonna, uh, I'm pretty sure, gonna spam um, Body Slam slash um, Quick Attack to try to get the try to get the win. I went for a Sucker Punch and get. Yeah, no, hold on here, people. Look at this. Sucker Punch failed from a Quick Attack. Hacker exposed people. Are we agree? Good, because uh, Sucker Punch should, should be going first before Quick Attack. Correct. Well, it should have been, because yeah. So yeah, that work didn't work out. So I'm gonna go to my extra big say 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 or Titan C Titan. I, that's the name I think, <laughs> and it's gonna go for a body slam, and it's gonna paralyze me. So, really, this battle wasn't really. I wasn't like I said. I was going for it. I was doing a couple sets, and uh, I'm getting myself swept by a Cyclozar. So, I hope you guys understand that this was a very lucky sweep there. And uh, yeah, hopefully this. Uh, I hopefully I'm never gonna witness something like this ever again. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go for the Ninja. This is also a very. This is more of a bulky stalling one, more likely. Instead of a <laughs> fully a physical attacking one, so I'm gonna find amnesia, trying to just uh, you know, bulk my uh, my my uh, my special defense like it really matter, and I'm gonna go for shielding water, try and drop its uh, physical attack by um, a couple more stages, and uh, yeah, this is where the point where I feel like I'm probably gonna lose it if I don't um, counter this uh, cycles are. So this is it. So pretty much uh, the next uh, body stem is gonna crit me, and the only Pokemon I have is um, cycles are. Can I get this? Uh, can I actually win through this battle with only a cyclo uh, with a uh, Houndstone? Well, hope you enjoy. And and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to just uh, you guys and girls are gonna have to see through this whole battle if uh, actually it's gonna be possible or not. So yeah, hope you guys and girls enjoy the uh, Houndstone sweep, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the explanation 
how I run this build and uh, yeah enjoy the massive strong houndstone Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Houndstone uh, set, or uh, the uh, Houndstone sweep. As I said, I wasn't actually going for a Houndstone sweep, I was actually just doing a couple battles and uh, I ended up got this random Houndstone sweep. Uh, just wanted to see how really powerful that it really is. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves a very a very lucky Houndstone sweep there and I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. So yeah, um, but yeah, let's explain this set and let me show you and how to really run the Houndstone um, build. Um, honestly, I prefer you people not to run this uh, like said. I prefer you try something more, more content likely. But I want to just test this for once and just get this out of the way. And uh, yeah, I just completely just <laughs> went through almost every single Pokemon. Um, yeah, it was also like I'm not gonna say this one is like overbroken in this uh, in this um, build. I mean, it has a really annoying, a very powerful uh, ghost type move. But it has some counters. You gotta have to be careful. You can um, go through and make sure you can get rid of this one. So yeah, there's like, I mean, it has a lot of move pull. You can actually counter it. I mean, it has a body press you can use to use against um, normal type, but that's only if you're using a defensive uh, set and not a, you know, a, um, a um, like, a, if you're using a, it, it's more stronger if it's a more of a bulky one instead of a fully uh, physical attacking one. So uh, it's not going to exactly one shot even with that uh, <laughs> super effective move. So yeah. Um, so yeah, let me explain this build and let me show you how run, how you really want to run this one. So yeah, um, it's one. This one is a max attack, a max speed with adamant nature, with sand rush as the ability, with smooth rock, last respect, sandstorm crunch, and play rough. Uh, last respect is for its a signature move. You know, in case you're you're about to go down, you have your sandstone storm active, and uh, yeah, you just have to just make sure you just. Hopefully that they are not going to tear themselves into a normal type. If they do, um, you have some other coverage move you can use. Like you can use like uh, some other random physical move you can run on your set. I mean, it only matters if you want to run. That doesn't matter really if you. I mean, only if you want to, obviously. So yeah. Um, another like I've run this only this set because I only wanted to see how really strong this one really is. So Ross respect for pretty much hitting everything that is not uh, weak against something. Um, I have sand surf to activate my sand rush and smooth rock to activate to make the uh, sand last uh, or sandstorm last about eight total turns. So that means uh, if I use sandstorm in the first turn, it will only activate. It only will wear off. Will wear off in the next five turns. And since you use sandstorm in the first turn, it will go off. It will be um, it will be gone in the next four turns. So. Um, it's not like it's not a, like a big issue. I mean, all you have to do is activate Sandstorm again. But uh, as long as you obviously, you know, <laughs> um, obviously as long as you live the next uh, couple attacks from whatever the next Pokemon is not gonna get the uh, Sand rush, uh, Rushed out speed, uh, you should be good to go, or at least getting one shot. So yeah, um, we have Crunch for just coverage and Player Up for Dragon and 
fairy type, I'm sorry, dragon and <laughs> fighting types. So yeah, that was really lucky that I was uh, able to one shot that um, Coralidon, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, that was going one shotted by it. Um, you could actually replace an another move for it. I mean, if you want to run like a different uh, move pool, you definitely you guys and girls can try it yourself. If you want to try to run a, a completely different set, you can run um, um, <laughs> you can run like Stomping Tantrum with uh, Last Respect if it happens to um, getting immune attack. Like for example, um, you can see if, let's say like this, um, the you're facing like a mouse hold. It uh, obviously is immune to um, Last Respect. Then you can use a uh, stomping tantrum and then you know do extra little amount of damage to the uh, or just do double the damage um, obviously if it fails. So that's really good for um, in case that happens. And since you have the sand, I'm pretty sure sand uh, the sandstorm will also boost a bit of a, its uh, ground type uh, Pokemon moves. I think or it was a rock. I don't know. <laughs> um, but you can definitely do that. Um, then I, obviously you can um, replace. Um, you could run a different set. Like you can run a uh, obviously a sticky web user with Salic Berry as the item. But as long as you. Uh, but the question is if you don't able to outspeed the next Pokemon. Like there's not a lot of uh, false Pokemon out there. So without Sand Rush, this thing is <laughs> quite. Uh, I mean it's pretty fast, but it's quite slow in battle. So. Uh, most Pokemon is obviously going to outspeed you and just going to give uh, it's going to take you out with just whatever the move goes goes with, as long as it's super effective. And uh, yeah, um, but yeah, this thing pretty much is pretty uh, strong. But uh, I recommend you people not to run this set if you want to be, uh, you know, if you want to, if you're just going to be using a competitive set. I mean, if you're going to go for competitive, this is pretty much what you want to run. Uh, but if you like the content uh, set, you probably want to run special or something with bulky. But um, that's pretty much it for the Houndstone set. I have another highlight I have to go through, and um, I'm kind of a little tired still, so I'm just gonna probably gonna end it right here. So hope you guys and girls enjoyed the Houndstone set. Um, share with this with your friends and all that stuff. And as always, stay lucky out there, and uh, take care.